So we gon' just, you know, act like me not having on mascara or shadow or lashes is normal. Cause, you know, I'm not doing a look after this or anything. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Felipe Charming. And in this video, I went ahead and showed you guys, think about five different things that I do to make my forehead look smaller. I don't know if it makes an immense difference for everyone else, but for me, it makes a world of difference. Before we get into the video, be sure to hit that subscribe button, turn your post notifications on, and thumbs up this video to let me know that you guys like my content and you want more. If you guys wanna see how I minimize thine five head, then keep on watching this video. So first things first, I just brush my hair. I messed up my last haircut, so I'm growing my edges out a little bit. So after I brush my hair, I just go ahead and take some concealer. But sometimes I do use foundation and I just kind of conceal to define my edge up, line up, tape, whatever you refer to it in whatever region you're in. <laughs> I, I personally refer to it as a lineup. Sometimes I refer to it as my edges, whatever I'm feeling that day, but yeah, I just kind of line it. And then once I'm done lining it up, I just drag the concealer down. I lost the next clip of me doing this. But you just want to drag it down all the way to the other side. Once you're done doing that, just take my foundation brush and blend that line into my foundation. I typically do this step before foundation, but since I was doing my nose contouring video, I just did my foundation first. Obviously, if you don't have a lineup, you can kind of omit the first step. <laughs> Waves one swim. So anyway, um, I take the same powder that I used to fill in my eyebrows and I just kind of finesse my edges. Again, I did mess up my last haircut, so that's kind of why I have to do all this extraness. So I just use this trick to kind of make my hairline look fuller. So I use the angle brush that I use on my eyebrows and I just pat it. I never really drag unless I'm like doing the sides where I have to kind of define the line. Outside of that, I just pat it just to make it seamless and mimic the same color of my hairline. Now I do brush my hair again after this step. Once I'm done brushing my hair a little bit, I go ahead and contour all the way around my forehead. This is technically bronzing since it is adding warmth as opposed to a dark shadow, or a cool shadow rather. Just kind of blend this in just to, you know, create the illusion of a contour effect and minimize my forehead. I will be listing all the products that I use in this video down below, by the way. This was prior to me messing up my concealer with the Beauty Blender. This was the moment when I realized I fucked up. So I just fixed it with some foundation, left on my foundation brush, and then I went back over it with some more LA Girl Pro Concealer, and I just blended that out. And keep this in the center to kind of draw the eye inward. The same way the shadow creates negative space, the highlight is supposed to create positive space. So just think of it in that way. And after setting my highlight, I set my bronzer with the contour shades in the Ruby Kisses Contour Kit and add some face powder and I'm done. Make sure you guys comment any beauty tips or suggestions you guys may have for me down below. Yeah, that's pretty much how I minimize line five head. So, you know, post found date, I go ahead and contour and highlight and just give illusion. This may have been helpful for some people, it may have not, but this is, this is what works for me. This is what, you know, works for what I go for. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And while you're here, <laughs> again, you should probably just go ahead and watch my last video. So I think you guys should go ahead and get into that. It was a really cute video. Okay, alright, alright. I love y'all too. Bye.